Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs in love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands. For I will sing of when, when your love came down. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs in love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth, and I will daily lift my hands, for I will sing of when, when your love came down. I will sing of your love forever. 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 Over the mountain and the sea, your river runs in love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands. For I will sing of when, when your love came down. I will sing of your love forever. 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 Praise the child of God. Shalom, shalom. My name is Charlie G. This is Lesson Today. Thank you very much for tuning in for us Lesson Today. And as always, you're going to be found being blessed by the word of the Lord. And Jesus Christ, He came down from heaven and He touched the earth so that each and every one of us who are here on earth can be able to touch up to heaven. Jesus Christ touched down to earth so that here on earth we can be able to touch up to heaven. And so we have the heaven we can call upon the heaven and we can have everything that we want come from heaven his kingdom comes so that his will can be done here on earth as in the heaven because Jesus Christ touched down on the earth we are able to touch up to heaven all because of him so today I'm going for sharing about the sons of uh, the wife of Naomi and I've forgotten of the husband of Naomi sorry today I'm going for sharing about the sons of Elimelech. Today I'm going for sharing about the sons of Elimelech and I want to be that each and every one of us are going to be blessed. Ready your heart for the word. Let us pray. Almighty and Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father, for this wonderful day given to each and every one of us, O God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because your God who holds times in your hand, O God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because your God who knows each and every one of us by name, O God, and your God who calls us your own, O God. Thank you for your amazing grace, O God, and we love the sound of it, O God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know and we do believe, O God, that your God who's with us, your God who's for us, your God who's in us, your God who's working through us, O God. Let your name be magnified, let your name be glorified. And as we are going forward hearing your word, O God, may May it be of may it be a word of sieve of season may it be a word or a rema word to each and every one of us and this is a prayer of faith that i prayed in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ amen 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 i hope that you're ready for the word of god and so in the book of ruth chapter one in the book of ruth chapter one uh, I'm checking out something and I hope that you get to listen to Reconcile Us, Reconcile Us Radio uh, by downloading the mix screen and you're gonna find us there. In the book of Ruth chapter 1 he says that now it came to pass in the days where when the judges ruled that there was famine in the land and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab, he, his wife, and two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech. The name of the man was Elimelech. And that's the meaning I want to get for each and every one of us. Meaning of Elimelech. When God changes your identity, He changes your possibility, and He changes your reality. When God changes your name, or God changes your identity, He changes your reality, He changes your possibility. And so El Elimelech means my God is kind. Elimelech means my God is kind. And so let's continue on reading. The, the name of the man was Elimelech, the name of his wife was Naomi, and the name of the two sons were Ma Mahalon and Shilion. 
Ephrath of, of Bethlehem, Judah. And they went to the country of Moab and remained there. Then Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left with her two sons. Now they took two wives of, of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Oprah, the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelt there about ten years. Then both Maholon and Chilon also died. So the women survived. So the woman survived. Her two sons and husband died. Her two sons and husband died. Uh, to each and every one of us, I would just like to we're going to find drawing lessons from each of all of these points. The meaning, the meaning of the name of Bethlehem. Bethlehem means the house of bread. Bethlehem means the house of bread. And so during a time that there was drought famine in in Bethlehem, here we're seeing Elimelech, Elimelech with his family leaving the house of bread. To each and every one of us, let you never be found leaving the house of bread. Let you never be found living a life of not being in the presence of the Lord, of not congregating together with other believers. In that doesn't matter how things, how the circumstances are around you, it doesn't matter. But as long as you remain connected to church, as long as you remain connected to your altar, trust you me, God is going to keep you. God is going to preserve you because you know, because you have a spiritual understanding. Here, when Elimelech was leaving Bethlehem, not everyone left Bethlehem. Kim and his family, they left Bethlehem and I surely believe that Elimelech was a wealthy man. He was a rich man because we all know about his brother Boaz. Boaz, in order the Lord shall say that he was a rich man, he was a wealthy man and he was the king's man redeemer. And so for him, he was like, I'm having money, I'm having wealth. Why should I continue on staying here in this dry place? Why should I continue on uh, staying in this place where there's famine, where there's drought? Let me go. Let me go to a new land. Let me go to another land, the land of the Moab. And we all know that he didn't make it back he didn't make it back because he left the house of bread also to each and every one of us when we leave the house of bread we are not gonna survive for long we ain't gonna be there for long and here as we are seeing that the meaning of the word elimelech means that god is kind to me it means that god is kind to me it means that god is kind my god is kind and so god could have been kind to him in bethlehem god could have been kind to him in bethlehem but he left bethlehem but he left bethlehem and uh, meaning of naomi naomi means she later on it's only naomi in other lord is only the story of naomi is only the name naomi that we get to see it being changed from good to bad the meaning of naomi it means pleasant the meaning of naomi means pleasant and then later on when people are calling her naomi 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 as uh, she said that don't call me naomi don't call me naomi but call me mara call me bitterness call me sorrow uh, because i went out in plenty but i've come i've, I've come back empty i went um, out in plenty but i've come out come back empty and let's that will, that will not be our case that will not be our case our name and ain't gonna be found being changed from good to bad but our names are going to be found being changed from bad to good everyone else in the other lord we see we see their name being changed from bad to good from bad to good from bad to good abraham later on to abram later on to abraham jacob later on to isaac together with the other people who their name got to be changed who their names got to be changed and so here we are seeing that naomi means pleasant naomi means pleasant and god is kind what a beautiful couple you just picture it this was a wonderful couple this was a good couple one of them the main meaning of the name means god is kind and the other one means pleasant and they gave birth to two sons whose their name is something shocking and something that uh, we ought to be found being keen of it the meaning of the name the meaning of the name of Mahalon means it means sickness it means sickness and the meaning of his brother Chilon means destruction means destruction and so did their parents do the right thing or the wrong thing it doesn't matter in that the mistake that they made was not in the naming of the children the mistake that they made was not in the naming of the children but the mistake that they made was leaving the house of bethlehem leaving leaving the house of bethlehem that's the mistake that they made because here we are seeing that elimelech was the one who died first and then later on after 10 years his sons died his sons died and the women and their wives they were, they were left to survive and so to each and every one of us in that this is only an urge this is only a stirring for each and every one of us to recognize and to realize the beautiful thing about not living a life by bread alone 
but by every word that proceeds out from the mouth of the Lord. Each and every one of us living a life of having God being the sustainer of our life. Each and every one of us living a life of, of saying, God, you are my life. You are my all in all. You are my beginning and my end. You are my Alpha and Omega. You are everything that I want, everything that I desire. Living such kind of life, living such kind of life is very important so that you are going to be found being preserved. So you're gonna be found being protected. So you're gonna be found living to see better days in your life. So you're gonna be found living to see better days in your life. The meaning of Ruth and then Naomi. Ruth means friend, vision of beauty, companion, companion, friend, vision of beauty, vision of beauty. Hallelujah. And we all know about the lineage of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It came from Ruth. It came from Ruth. Uh, meaning of opera it means uh, sorry about that And you can go and check it out. But I hope that each and every one of us, our eyes have been open. I hope each and every one of us will have been charged in that the parents had good name, wonderful couple, beautiful couple. And the name of the children, it was, uh, they were not good names. Uh, you see each and every child is uh, each and every child is usually innocent. And they are not the ones who usually choose to be called the name that they're going to be found being called. Uh, that's usually the parents' decision. That's usually the parents' decision. And on Friday, when we were uh, in our Kesha, uh, Pastor Josiah told us that we should be found praying for our future kids, calling them by name, calling them by name. And there was uh, a form that we were given at church, uh, in at, uh, in church. And then in that form, one was supposed to say, "Are you single? Are you dating?" Or uh, in that, what your um, uh, marital status? And there is a lady who wrote of uh, that she's not uh, she's not married, but she wrote the names of her children. Then Pastor Josiah was like, now that lady did a good thing, now that lady did a good thing. Have you ever been in a, in a room and then uh, you gave out our papers in that, let's uh, take for instance an exam, you, you already did your exam, you already uh, feel however you are able to feel, and then you gave out, and then and then later on you're hearing of the teacher telling you that this guy answered correctly, this guy answered correctly, then you're like, how did I not think about that? How did I not think about that? So to each and every one of us, in that uh, kids are uh, children are a um, blessing from the Lord, uh, they are uh, an, a, a, a heritage from the Lord, they are heaven's gift to each and every one of us, and so one should be found living a life of knowing. If you, um, I, um, <laughs> I'm still praying, praying, praying about it. I, I bet mine is gonna be two, uh, two men, one it. <laughs> I'm still praying about it, praying about it. Anyway, uh, and so here we are seeing the name of one child was destruction, the name of the other child was sickness, in that destruction and sickness, as long as Lamin Karama Raki Lakati Lakazaya Talama Talima Katala Kizante Ribano Kianaka. In that sickness, what's the way out of sickness? Is the word of God, is the bread of life. What's the way out of destruction, out of uh, devastation? In that, it's the word of God, is the word of God. And that we see it from the meaning of the those children's name. Uh, Josh Christ said that it's a um, healing is the child's bread healing is the child's bread and so in order for each and every one of us to live a life far away from destruction we need the word of god to each and every one of us to live a life far away from sickness far away from infirmity what do we need we need the word of god we need to be connected to their house of bread and for us it's not only about being connected to the house of bread uh, for us we are not able physically to be connected to the house of bread that refers to bethlehem but josh guys he's the true bread from heaven josh guys say that he's the living bread and so each and if one of us we need the living bread in our life and he shall be found keeping us from sickness keeping us from uh, uh, destruction keeping us from infirmity is the living bread our lord and savior jesus christ who's going to be found preserving us and keeping us away from all of those things uh, as we have seen from the children of El elimelech in that one of them means uh destruction the other name means sickness in that they went out of bethlehem out of the house of bread and they did not stay for long they stayed only for that year plus 10 years and then later on they died but to each and every one of us we're going to fall living a long life as long as we continue living a life of having Jesus Christ be our bread of life Jesus Christ is my bread of life Jesus Christ is my bread of life Jesus Christ is the true bread in the book of John if I'm not wrong he said that why should we labor for that which does not satisfy why should we labor for, for that which does not fully satisfy but we should be found laboring for the living bread 
for, for their living bread. Let us be found living a life of desiring more and more of God, more and more of Jesus in our life. And he's gonna he's gonna be found sustaining us, preserving us, keeping us, helping us to be found living for long. We ain't gonna die, but you're gonna be found living to testify of the Lord's goodness in the land of the living, and we ain't gonna be found going out to suffer, we ain't gonna be found going out to struggle, but you're gonna be found remaining with Jesus, not denying him, not denouncing him, but still proclaiming him, still living a life of not being ashamed of him and he's going to be found continue, continually preserving us he's going to be found continually preserving us because Jesus Christ he's the true bre bread Jesus bread of life in the book of John chapter 6 verse 5 he said that I am the bread of life whoever comes to me will never be hungry again whoever believes in me will never be thirsty whoever comes to me will never be hungry whoever believes in me in the initially, first of all, taking your step, making your move. In the book of John, chapter 6, verse 5, he said that Jesus Christ is the bread of life. Whoever comes to him will not be hungry. In that to each and every one of us, first of all, we ought to be found drawing nearer to him. In the book of James, he said that when we draw near to him, he shall also be found drawing near to us. With loving kindness, the Lord is usually drawing us. Are you drawn to him? Are you drawing to him? Are you going nearer and nearer to him? And then he said that whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. In that, first of all, in order for you to believe in him the more you must be near you must be close you must approach him in the book of Romans says that let us then approach the throne of grace full of confidence so we shall find grace and obtain mercy as going to found helping us in time of need helping us in time of need uh, for me I surely believe this as, as as often as you can attend services read the Bible pray fast as often as you can there's gonna be a time they are gonna find being in need and that grace that you, uh, you 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 and that grace that you found and that mercy that you obtain is gonna be found helping you out in that time that you're gonna find being in need is gonna be found helping you out and so to each and every one of us in that I've, I know I've not yet <laughs> seen the meaning of that name meaning of Chilion, it means wasting away, wasting away. We ain't gonna be found wasting away because of the bread of life, because of Jesus Christ, who is the bread of life. We ain't gonna waste away. We ain't gonna die because of illness, because Jesus Christ is the bread of life. He's the one who sustains us. He's the one who preserves us. He's the one who makes uh, who makes beauty come out of ashes is the one who makes their life to come out of the ruins he is god who's able to do it let each and every one of us remain connected to the bread of life to the house of bread in the name of the lord jesus christ we pray and believe amen amen Salih.